Sometimes it's useful to have a list of files, documents, and folders contained on your computer and to be able to manipulate that list inside Excel. The import files and folder listings does just that. First, we specify the location from which to draw the listing. We'll check the Include Subfolders option to include all files and folders beneath the selected path. Active Data will create a new sheet containing a list of hyperlinks to the files that it found in the location specified. You can get Active Data to sort the sheets by size and perform statistics to analyze the amount of disk space occupied by the selected files. Active Data lets you import external data using ODBC data sources. The benefit here is that Active Data will allow you to bring in multiple tables at the same time, whereas Excel's Get External Data command works on a single query at a time. Active Data will import the tables into a new workbook and place each table in a separate worksheet. Additionally, it'll index the worksheet to provide you with a table of contents.